Crystal O and today I'm going to be doing a box braids tutorial in this look, this color and also with the goddess ending style. So first of all, if you are new to my channel, I'm going to need you to go ahead and do one thing, one thing, just one thing, okay? Go ahead and click that subscribe button and next to that subscribe button you're going to see a bell. Click the bell, okay? Because it's an important part of this process, okay? But anyways, if you are already a subscriber, already a part of the C-Squad, what is up? Today we are going to be braiding hair. I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys into the process of how I braided this look, braided this hair, and also achieved um, these goddess endings. So go ahead and stay tuned if you want to learn how I achieved this look. And yeah, enjoy. I'm going to be using Expression Hair in the color 27 with two packs in this shade. I'm going to be using one pack of color 4 and one pack of color 30. And I'm going to be using a mesh together pack of 27 and 30 together. So I'm going to start with my hair blown out. And then I'm going to go ahead and moisturize. So I'm going to go ahead and moisturize with this leave-in conditioner by Earth Supplied. And I'm going to go in with the OG oil, <laughs> the Dew Grow Stimulating Hair Oil. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the pack of hair and take off this rubber band. I'm also gonna try to match the color. It's not really my hair color, but mm, kinda works. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try to start the cutting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to create three rows of hair. So I'm going to loop both around to kinda give me an even marker, right? So they're all evenly cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting them and then I'm gonna go in and cut the bottom. And this is gonna give me three rows of hair to use. So now we're gonna get into the more exhausting part. I'm gonna go ahead and start stretching. So stretching is really just a way of making the hair more longer, making the hair more lighter, and this is kind of what I do. It takes about 15 minutes, depending on how fast or slow you are, but this is basically what it looks like. You hold the hair firmly and you pull. So after pulling, you're gonna think this lady is crazy. How is she making a tutorial right now? I trust me guys, trust me. I'm about to show you guys how I fix what looks like madness, literally literal chaos. But I'm gonna go ahead and shake it out, you know, just shake it off, shake it off. I'm gonna go ahead and use my fingers and go through and finger detangle first. So I'm gonna be holding the hair very firmly at the top of it and I'm going to just finger detangle as much as possible. I'm not going to fight with the hair. I'm just going to go through and finger detangle the part of the hair that allow me to kind of comb through without injuring myself. Because look, we don't want no injuries, okay? We just want to slay this hairstyle and be happy, okay? So I'm gonna go through with my brush, okay? This is gonna be our savior. I'm gonna go through with your brush and you're just gonna brush through different places that need more attention. Now look at that, easy, breezy, beautiful. So basically now, as you can see, it's a lot more smooth. It's a lot more brushed through and it looks a lot better. Yes, bundles. <laughs> so to kind of give it more of a sleek, firm, put together feel, I'm gonna go ahead with my Marais beeswax and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of rub it on there. This gives me more of a uniform put together so it just stays in one place and doesn't fly around. I'm gonna do the same thing to color 27 and 30, and I'm gonna get this process started. So I'm gonna be adding a little bit of color four, a little bit of blonde, and a little bit of the color 30 to get the color that I want to achieve. I'm going to brush them all together. And when they're brushed together, I'm gonna to get this process started. So I'm gonna start by creating the back line of my hair. The back line of my hair. What's wrong with me? I'm going to start my part in the back and then I'm going to go ahead and take my little piece of hair. I'm going to divide it and I always talk about making a little cross loop. And once that cross loop is done, I'm going to go ahead and install my first braid. Now, do not worry. I know it's hard to see. I'm going to repeat this process step by step in just a second. I'm just kind of showing you guys how I put my hair in the back since I know many people struggle with this. I'm just showing you guys kind of what works for me and how this kind of works. 
So I'm just gonna continuously um, feel around and braid and feel and braid and feel and braid. And as I get to the bottom, I'm going to show you guys how I end this braid and what that looks like. So because I'm going for a longer length, I'm gonna go ahead and feed in a small piece of hair to the braid. And I'm just gonna braid it in. Just go ahead and graft it in and make it look uniform. Then I'm gonna start with my next one. And there you have it, folks. The back of our head is done. So it's looking pretty good so far. So now I'm going to show you guys how I do the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by dividing it up and then I'm going to grab my clip and hold that down. I'm gonna be using Eco Style Gel to help a sister out because I need the slickness. I'm gonna go ahead and work that through. And this is optional. I'm gonna go ahead and add some edge control just because I want that good grip on there. I'm gonna take my hair, make that cross that I talked about and loop. And I'm going to get more specific hair. So we're gonna take this middle part of the braid and we're gonna land it on the hair, literally on the hair. Now we're just gonna take the other side and wrap it around and we're going to basically clench it into a braid. And we're just going to start our braid hair. We're going to make sure there's no hair getting involved in the braid that we are working on and we are going to just continue this process. Now we are going to want to make sure we're holding the hair very firmly, especially the hair on the braid with our actual hair. We're gonna make sure that's firm too because that's connected to the braid and the initial knot. So we're just gonna braid and keep braiding and keep braiding. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing I did with the feeding in. I'm going to go ahead and add some hair onto that and I'm going to braid it in. When that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and tie a knot on it. Gonna make sure it's even with the other ones and we are good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing for this last braid on my head. And when that's over, we're gonna go ahead and trim. So trimming is annoying, trust me, it really is. Just do your best and try not to cut off your hair. That's the actual advice that I can give you. I don't trim a lot, I just trim obvious wispies. So now I'm gonna go ahead and create three different knots of braided hair for the ending of my hair to prepare them for being dipped in hot water. And once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and dip them individually in some hot, boiling, steaming water. Be careful guys, this part's really dangerous. So when I go ahead and do that, I'm gonna go ahead and dry them off with a towel. And this is like a Nigerian slash African pro tip, y'all. I've seen this in Nigeria. I've seen this in African braiding stores. You basically take a hot, damp towel and you press it against your scalp. This helps relieve maybe some inflammation or some pain. It kind of works. So now I'm gonna go ahead and undo the braided tips. And as you can see, they are coming out really nice. And once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and trim the bottoms. Everything that is straight must go. Everything that's straight must go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just trim those off very carefully. And then I'm gonna make sure it's even. And then I'm just gonna continue trimming as need be. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take some setting foam and I'm going to literally lather my hair with this. So this is basically what the finished product looks like. As you can see, it does look really good. I'm going to turn around and show you guys kind of how I did the back or how the back is spaced. It's not as neat because of course I was just trying to get these braids in and get it done with. So I'm gonna show you guys just so you can see what that looks like in a second. But honestly and truly while I'm braiding my hair, one pro tip that I would say is keep yourself entertained, keep yourself engaged. I was watching a show the whole time while doing my hair. So that kept me very engaged, kept me very entertained. And also make sure that you are stretching during the process because I noticed that my shoulders are very sore afterwards. So make sure you're taking breaks in between and making sure you're taking care of yourself during the process of doing your own hair. This style took me about eight hours to complete. 
I literally can't complain because this would have costed me about like $165 or $170, I don't know. But it would have at least costed me a pretty amount of money. I wouldn't want to pay someone else if I could just do it by myself. So of course for these endings, I'm going to go ahead and have to mousse them daily just to keep them fresh. And also when I feel like they're starting to fall, I'm gonna go ahead and re-braid them back up and dip them in hot water. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said in the beginning, make sure you subscribe if you are not already subscribed to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment below with any questions you might have for me. Let me go ahead and turn around and show you guys the back and then I'm going to sign out. So this is basically what the back is looking like. As you can see, it's not super neat, but the way I braid my hair is that I braid it like in rows. So I just keep on going in rows until I get to the front. And that's where I kind of make my middle part entry coming into it. So I really hope that makes sense. If not, ask your questions below and I will be more than happy to answer them. But I really do hope this video was helpful. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye -bye.